the most obvious way is that if, if I had COVID-19 um, and was symptomatic and was living in my nose and like in my chest secretions, and I let loose with a gigantic sneeze and you were three foot away and I blasted you right in the face, that is a very direct way. So that's what we call droplet spread. The second way is, is through the things that I touch that then you touch so that there's some inanimate object that connects us. That's what people are concerned about when they think about the mail or when they think about the supermarket. The third route of transmission, which is I think the most complicated and um, in some ways the most anxiety provoking, is that some proportion of COVID-19 is spread through aerosols. In aerosols, we're talking about very, very, very small, tiny vapor-like droplets that are below the size of a micrometer, maybe 100 nanometers, that can float around in the air for minutes or maybe even hours after I have left that space. When we think about the six-foot radius that we're supposed to keep away from each other, the reason for the six feet is that that's about the maximum distance that I could possibly hit you directly if I sneezed or coughed. The, the aerosols, you know, don't obey that six foot rule at all. The virus decays very quickly in air. You know, the half-life is about an hour, which means that half of it is gone within an hour and half of what was left is gone again in another hour. That's great, but the problem is that, you know, we're not talking about hours apart from each other in the supermarket. We're talking about a few minutes later, someone else will walk down the aisle, you know, or maybe a few seconds later. And so even though it's decaying within a matter of hours, still I think this is a substantial risk that people are taking. You obviously can't protect yourself against that by washing your hands or wearing gloves. For that, the only protection really would be a mask. Any change in the volume of dilution of the air has a massive effect on diluting the virus that's within it. When you walk outside doors, you are essentially going into an almost infinite sphere. The wind picks it up and dilutes it almost immediately. The risk of transmission out of doors is as close to zero as you can, you can get, unless you're like literally up in someone's face and you're sneezing right at them. Indoors, however, it's a totally different story. The thing that we're missing is the breathing the air while you're in the store because the doors are closed, it's a, it's a contained airspace. You have all of this air that has been contaminated and is just staying there. That is very worrisome. And I, and I think that the messaging there has to be much more about, you know, we really need to be wearing masks anytime we are in an enclosed space, which is shared with, with people who you don't know are uninfected.